You're watching Chamber Zone, your business community at work. Representing the Duchesne County Chamber of Commerce, your host, Irene Hansen. Hi, this is Irene Hansen. I'm with Chamber Zone with the Duchesne County Chamber of Commerce. So pleased to be here today. Uh, my normal uh, co host is Joel Brown from the Vernal Area Chamber, but once in a while, we bring on a very special guest and today with me I have Craig Ashby with the Roosevelt Rotary Club and Craig I've really looked forward to this conversation because you know the Roosevelt Rotary Club I don't know quite what we've morphed into but it's a unique club with a very unique calling and uh, you took over as president I believe in July correct and so you'll be there for a year but Tell us a little bit about the Roosevelt Rotary Club. I'll tell you, there's a lot going on. I, we probably can't fit it in one, in one uh, segment, but let, let's talk a little bit about the Roosevelt Rotary Club. It's interesting. I, I've only been part of the Rotary Club probably a year before that, so I'm pretty new to Rotary myself. And, and as you go to the national meetings and find out what Rotary is worldwide, we're a whole lot different flavor locally, I guess, in the community. We are something for our community instead of so much for the world, but again, Rotary is also a lot for the world. Yeah. And we're grateful to be a part of that. And what we try to do is something unique for our area. And we found a niche or two that we've been able to help our local community through our local charities that perhaps need a little help to be successful in our local communities. We tried to champion with them to bring opportunities so that our business people, our you know, local business owners, are able to come and uh, through our festival of trees and uh, different things that we do to be able to raise money to be benefit our local charities. You know, Craig, um, as we talk a little bit about, I think the thing I've enjoyed about Rotary so much is I go in there and I'm amongst some of the greatest entrepreneurs, the greatest business people in our community, and it's inspiring. You know, I've brought many opportunities, economic development opportunities, and they just jump right on board. Uh, for example, we hosted 12 diplomats from foreign nations uh, that was here on a tour. And the Rotary Club all came and helped and talked about entrepreneurship. But one of the comments, I think the thing that they're best known for is partnering with the chamber, partnering with nonprofits to do the Enchanted Forest. And that has been, well, we've raised in the last three years, with the help of the Roosevelt Rotary Club, $1.2 million for 40 charities. Unbelievable. It's touched hundreds of lives. Thousands of, of people have been able to successfully change. It's provided opportunities. But, but we're changing it up a little bit this year. Part of the reason I love Rotary is they're able to change. What's going to make the Enchanted Forest this year uh, 2015 different than before. You know, it's always hard to be better than we were last year. Uh, I guess we have to respond to our local conditions. Our economy has changed. We, we all have suffered a little bit as, as we have to reorganize, regroup. Right. So this year, we are not going to have a live auction like we've done in the last few years. Our previous years, we've had live auctions with about 44 trees. We've been able to have local competition and bidding and and we've been able to sell trees for what twenty thirty thirty thousand dollars <laughs> and, and that kind of money just isn't here this year no so this year we've turned it into a thank you we want to give thanks to our businesses who have contributed and been there for years and years to help our local charities but that doesn't change that the charities also need help and right. whatever so we're going to have a silent opportunity for those to donate this year but we're going to have a night of of thank giving thanks to our community. We're going to have bring these people together. We're going to give them a dinner. And uh, we're also going to give them a wonderful program, which is kind of a secret Kind of program. a secret. We, we don't want to let that out. But we're going to have a wonderful evening. We look forward to it. And, you know, uh, when we talk about giving thanks, you know, it's so amazing because I, I sometimes I think I'm the luckiest person in the world being with the Chamber of Commerce, who the, and we also do economic development, because entrepreneurship is amazing here in the basin. Yes, I is. mean, it. we have entrepreneurs that are welders, you know, uh, consultants of all types, engineers, but they, they have followed kind of the energy industry. And that's another thing that the Rotary Club has done is not is it, in thanking the industry is we've done picnics, we've gone out and done tours. And, and what an amazing opportunity. And the Rotary believes in that. 
And you know, and I think our Rotary is made up of business, local business people who believe in the success of other people. I mean, we've championed uh, growth in, I mean, we have individuals in our Rotary that's invested in other businesses. They that have. That even compete with themselves. And, and I think over the years, I've been here for 30, 40 years, and I've seen a lot of oil companies that came here, and during the first kind of a recession, they all left. I mean, we had to pick up the pieces and build on that, and, and we've become better at it. And I think that's some of the successes we have now, is that we're able to withstand these lulls that we have. We know that it's going to come back, but we've got to keep our charities thriving during this time we do. and give everybody an opportunity. So. Well, you know, I think one of the amazing things with the Roosevelt Rotary Club is they, uh, is they are willing to change the paradigm <laughs> on a dime. We've had so much fun brainstorming, coming up with new ideas. It's been a blast to work with Craig. We're going to come back in just a moment in our next segment because there's so much more to talk about as well as what we're planning for the future. Uh, they've helped with Sub for Santa, but again, uh, if you want to know more about the Rotary Club, we'll make sure that Craig gives you his contact information, but you can always call the Duchesne County Chamber of Commerce, 722-4598. We always know where they're at and where they'll be meeting, and so call us and we'll give you that information. In the meantime, we're going to be right back uh, as soon as this break, and we'll talk more about the Roosevelt Rotary Club. Well, Almost 45% of the oil produced in Utah, 7.8 million barrels, comes from Duchesne County. That oil feeds our state economy, provides job growth, and supports local business. Here in Duchesne County, we're working to make Utah an economic, cultural, and technological leader. Whether you're here for business or pleasure, Duchesne County will welcome you with open arms and invite you to explore all the beauty of the Uinta Mountains. Duchesne County, close enough for business, far enough to get away. Welcome back to Chamber Zone, your business community at work. Well, I'm here with Craig Ashby. Craig, we have had a blast talking about what's happened in the past with Rotary, what's coming up in the near future, but the Roosevelt Rotary Club has big plans. So we're working on a lot of stuff for spring, for winter. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the stuff coming up. Well, you know, our coat drive, we always have an annual coat drive where we provide uh, coats for local kids that might need a little bit here and there. We also have a dictionary drive that we provide dictionaries for all of our third, fourth graders. I yeah, think. I think it's fourth graders throughout. And throughout the district yeah, as throughout well the as part of Uinta County too. Yes. We've done some work there. We're also talking about in January, we'd like to have a basically recognize our local law enforcement. We'd like to have a breakfast with all of it. And we haven't announced that yet, but that's <laughs> something we'd like to do in January. We're going to start initiating that process. Uh, we also will probably have a re up an opportunity to recruit people to come and join us. We, we need all the people we can get. If you'd like to be part of Rotary, I mean, it's not that we have to be there every week, but we'd like, no. we'd like to be able to involve, and a Chamber has been a wonderful contributor to that Rotary process, and even Irene's a member. We you betcha. That. I, right. I, I would never miss. I love Rotary. And if you'd like to join us, we had two show up yesterday that said, we want to join, we want to be a part of you, let's, let's get involved. So. We don't turn anybody away, so we'd, we'd appreciate that. And if you want to contact Irene, come by the Absolutely. chamber office, the senior center there in Roosevelt, and she'd be able to at least get it to the right people. We you meet know, on Tuesdays. We do. We do meet on Tuesdays unless we change it once in a while for a certain thing. In fact, on Wednesday, December 10th, we're yeah. meeting at the Frontier Grill, a chamber rotary luncheon. Uh, we have a specialist coming in talking about franchise laws, how that affects our local car dealers, sales tax revenue, all of those very important issues to businesses. So that's at noon on December 10th at the Frontier Grill. We always have a complimentary salad bar. So come and, come, come and talk to us. You know, Craig, the other thing, as we've talked about, you know, we can't, we don't, we, we don't have a certain time in a certain place. Again, Tuesdays are our main day. But part of the reason we move around is it's fun to be visible. I remember when we went out to Paragon um, uh, Oil Field uh, Pipe and Supply Store, and we met in their upstairs, but we just let, wanted to hear about their mm -hmm. operation. And we've also gone out to the Speedy Goat, that's a convenience store out by Newfield. Uh, 
why is it so important? I mean, what's that, what, what do we gain? Because you know what? It's a lot of work. Sometimes we're setting up tables and chairs, but what can be gained for a community as the Rotary Club moves around? I think it's, it, well, it gets us into the neighbors and the, and the businesses we need to see. I mean, last week we were meeting at the office of, or the hospital, hospital control yes. room there. and Met we, two new doctors. Mm -hmm. And we need to know those people, and they need to know us and, yes. and to be involved. So, I think there's another thing we need to touch on too, just as, as an interest, is uh, this coming week we're going to have the Iron Lung, which is, wow. if anybody remembers what uh, polio was and what it was in my childhood. We hope childhood, no one remembers, but... People were touched by it, but yes. we're raising funds to, as a Rotary Foundation worldwide, to basically get rid of polio. And we'll, we'll actually have an iron lung here next week that'll be on display. We haven't quite decided where. We'll probably be in the newspaper. We'll get it ever. We're trying to get it in the schools, but we we'll probably might be at the Zions Bank building. But we're going to have an iron lung on display. Wow. And it's going to be in Vernal, too, I think. I haven't heard wow. the details there, but what a great opportunity to see something of the past. And speaking of Vernal, we have a lot of fun with Vernal Rotary. They come to some of our stuff. We've gone to sev several of their things. So this is really a basin-wide outreach that we do. But you know what? One of my passions, Craig, and so we, I know we've got just a couple of minutes left, but we have to talk about Rotaract Correct. and Interact because you know what? It's not enough for us just to get together and work on great things. We've got to inspire new generations. How is the Roosevelt Rotary Club doing that? We are investing in our youth. The youth are the future as far as in, in, they are. In leaders of, of involving our community. We need to invest in our kids. We're sending, we've sent five, I think, this year and six last year to a RILA convention, which is a leadership training opportunity for our, our youth. They're coming back and they've started a Rotaract uh, in our school. I think school. it's Interact, Interact in the high in the school. High school yeah. And a Rotaract in the college level. Yes. We, that's all been started here in Roosevelt. Wow. Those people and those kids have joined together the last two years and have gone to Mexico to be a part of uh, building, building homes. homes and opportunities to I spent a whole week and have gone down there, and what a great opportunity for them to learn, to give, and to be a part of something other than themselves. So. And they actually built, they, they, not, they, I guess what they do is they finish, is it like five homes, they, they build five homes, Each part. then they finish five homes mm -hmm. that were done by another group so that they can give those to the family. Um, and, and, and then at the same time, wasn't there an international rotary conference in Mexico that went on at the same I time? I there was one back east, too. I yeah. mean, I, I, here, I can remember bits and pieces, but what a great opportunity for these youth. And you can come and see at the Festival of Trees as well as that yes. whole week here. We'll have displays up that'll show a lot of the charities and their involvement and what they've received as a result of funding from here. We'll have our local rotary. We'll have a lot of displays there, too. So. Well, you know, Craig, the, the Roosevelt Rotary Club has been the f perfect vehicle, first of all, to get you back involved, longtime business owner in Roosevelt for, for many years, now back involved, uh, uh, helping with Rotary, taking the presidency for a year. Can't thank you enough for doing that, Craig, and taking of your time and talents. And, and bringing, I mean, b because of your media experiences, you're bringing a whole new realm. We even published a book last year for the Enchanted Forest. Uh, you helped us with that. Uh, there's so much more to talk about, but call the Duchesne County Chamber of Commerce at 722-4598. We'll tell you the next place the Rotary is going to be. Join them. Call today. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time on Thank Chamber you. Zone.